Hello, my name is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. In today's brief video, I'm going to highlight two very popular classes of blood pressure medications that seem to adversely affect cholesterol and triglyceride numbers. Now, these two classes are quite popular, so I thought I would just highlight them so that if you're taking it, you can have a discussion with your doctor to see if you, it is still appropriate for you. And that means that I do not expect you to stop taking your medications without first talking to your doctor. Now, the first class are diuretics or what we normally call water pills. And one particular class of diuretics, we call thiazide diuretics, for which the poster child is hydrochlorothiazide or HCTZ. Now, studies show that high doses of hydrochlorothiazide, that is 50 milligrams or more, have been associated with elevated triglyceride levels as well as total cholesterol. In one study, for example, total cholesterol levels were increased by approximately 4%, while LDL or low-density lipoproteins, what we normally call the bad cholesterol, was elevated by approximately 10%. Now, triglyceride concentrations were also elevated by 5 to 15 percent. There was no marked changes in the concentration or the levels of HDL or what we normally call the good cholesterol. On the contrary, however, low doses of HCTZ, that is doses from 12.5 milligrams to 25 milligrams, did not show this increase in cholesterol or incre increase in triglycerides. Now, the next class of medications that can adversely affect cholesterol and triglycerides are beta blockers. And beta blockers are easy to remember because they typically end in OL, so we have like propranol law, uh, labetalol, bisoprolol, you know, etc. Beta blockers were found to have a negligible effect on total cholesterol and LDLs. On the other hand, they were found to increase triglycerides by as much as 10 to 40 percent and also decreasing HDL or the good cholesterol by 5 to 20 percent. So you have a situation where it is actually causing an increase in the bad cholesterol and a decrease in the good cholesterol. Now, when it comes to beta blockers, not all beta blockers are created the same with respect to the ability to adversely affect your cholesterol numbers. Because the older generation beta blockers, uh, for example, propranolol or atenolol or metoprolol, those ones were more likely to cause this observed increase in cholesterol. On the other hand, the newer generation beta blockers like cavedolol or nebivolol, marketed under the brand name Bistolic, were not shown to have such increases in total cholesterol and triglycerides. So if you fall into the category of people currently taking any of these medications and you're struggling to keep your cholesterol in check, it may be a good time to go back to the drawing board, have a chat with your doctor to see if these medications are still appropriate for you or if they could switch you to something that is less problematic. Thank you very much for staying through. Stay blessed and I'll catch you on the next video.